welcome. My name's Susie, and today what I want to open for you guys is this Bubbles and Bling box. Now, as you can see, mine had like a little bit of an accident. Uh, yeah, it's had a little bit of an accident. It was much, much cuter before now. So the box damage is like completely my own fault. And there's a couple of items that were in here that are no longer with us. Yeah, there was a vicious attack on this box. Don't leave your boxes unattended, folks. Bad things could happen. So Bubbles and Bling is going to be $45 uh, plus shipping, and it's a bi-monthly box. So you get one for February, March, one for April, May, one for June, July, and so on and so forth. So the $45 plus shipping, you can find it at Crate Joy, and I'll put the a link where you can purchase this box in the description below. I don't know if there are any more February, March boxes left. Um, not sure. There might not be. But you can go online and check, or you can order for the next month. But without any further ado, let's get into this box. So basically, I was really excited because at my job, we ship packages out and I saw all of these going through and I had seen them online and the lady that actually curates this box, who by the way is very, very friendly, and she goes like way above and beyond for every one of her people, uh, was there shipping out her boxes and I couldn't talk to her the first time I saw her, but then I found her on Crate Joy and I was like, listen, hey, I really want to try your box. I've seen people unbox online before and you were here. So it was really, really cool. So I got to talk to her and get one of these boxes to open. And she curates them like very closely for everybody. She does it all herself, she told me. She's a one woman show, which is just really, really cool. She's out shopping for everything that goes in the boxes. She talks to all of her subscribers to find out like what kind of things they like. She sends you a quiz, really cool stuff. It's just like really customized and it feels very personal. So I really like that, especially since so many subscription boxes are like a huge, huge company and you take like a robot quiz and they don't know you that well and they may or may not like, you know, really get to know what you want. So she's really putting in a lot of effort to make sure that every one of her subscribers is getting something that they're gonna enjoy in their box. And that's just so cool. And for a small business, she seems like she's doing a lot of boxes. Like I've seen them online a bunch of times before, so that's really cool. So let's see what we got. When you open up the box, it's got this blingy silver foil paper covering everything up. And there's also a letter and it's got all of the product information in here. She's also got in here a cute little Valentine card. It says Valentine, celebrate being wonderful with a Minnie Mouse. And she even like has my name on the back of it to Susie from Sherry. Like how personalized is that? It's just really cool that she does that. So the letter says, Bubbles and Bling February box. This month's box is all about us ladies and perhaps some gents out there who would love to get little gifts for a special someone on Valentine's Day. I have taken some gift ideas out and interpreted them in my own way. I hope that y'all love what I've done and curated for you. I certainly had fun. Inside you're gonna find 10 products plus several other goodies that are free from yours truly. Cupid. <laughs> so then it's got a description of everything that's in here and this is like a two page front and back letter. So we'll go through the items in order on this list. Here's like a quick sneak peek in the box before we get into it. All right, so the first thing on the list says Galaxy Rose, which we have right here, comes in this box, Galaxy. It says, I love you, 24K Golden Rose, and it's kind of like holographic looking, so that's pretty cool. It says, who doesn't like getting flowers on Valentine's Day or just any day this year? This 24K iridescent rose is handcrafted by skilled artisans. It is a unique work of art that is a stunning symbol of long-lasting friendship, beauty, and love. And this retails for $20. So we open it up. Here it is inside. Oh my gosh, look at it catching the light. That's so pretty. So it's kind of got like these little petals. They feel like they're made out of like an acetate or some kind of plastic. But isn't that beautiful? I'm probably gonna go get like a little tiny vase and like stick it in there and I can put it back with my like Love Bear roses back there. That would be so cute. That's really cute. Nice. For now, I'll just stick it back in the box so we can look at everything else. All right, 
to this one. I'm guessing by the shape of it, it's wrapped in this cute little cellophane bag that's covered in hearts and tissue paper. Um, I'm guessing that this is going to be a high heel cell phone holder. And it says, love shoes, love glitter, high fashion is calling. This high heel phone holder is the most stylish way to keep your phone safe and easy to reach on your table, or it is perfect on top of your desk or vanity table. This chic shoe phone holder will add instant style to your decor. The stylish high heel shoe design fits most standard cell phones so that you can have a hands-free video chat or phone call. So there were color options for this, and this is something that she would have asked you already and kind of gotten to know you to know which one maybe to give you. But there was a blue one, a pink, black, or red, and this phone holder retails for $20 as well. All right, so there it is out of the package. I've got like a fuchsia high heel with a little pink bow. It kind of makes me think of like Minnie Mouse a little bit. I live in Florida, so we're near Disney, so I just have like Disney on the head a lot of times. And then I've got a black heel and, oh, that's the tag, okay. But basically you could just take your phone or I guess you could put something else in there too though. Like if you had a little card or something that you wanted to put or a little piece of art, like if this was a little bit bigger, that could maybe be, you know, something cute. But if you had like a little bigger piece of art that would be really cute and kind of girly, you could stick it up on like your vanity table or something and display it there also. But this would also just be really great for when you're on your phone and you don't really want to be holding it. If you have like to watch something or be on a Zoom call or something like that, little cute shoe will hold your phone for you and you'll get your glitter in too. So this is going to be part of my bling and my bubbles and bling. I'm really hoping that there's going to be some bubbles though because I love baths. <laughs> so I'm really holding out for something with a bubble in it. But this is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's also pretty heavy. I think that it's ceramic. Uh, so I wouldn't want anyone to drop this. Be very careful. And even just the whole box in general, it's got weight to it. This box is a heavy box. She handed it to me. I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know they were going to be that heavy. So that's really cool. Let's see what's next. So this is the next thing that's in the box. Um, it's Paris Lights Perfume. Perfume is always a wonderful gift to receive. Enjoy this 3.4 fluid ounce, 100 milliliter bottle of sweet smelling, long lasting fragrance. Comes in a variety of styles and scents and the retail on this is $8. It feels pretty heavy. I like the package. It's got like the little Eiffel Tower and I don't think the camera can show it, but the package has glitter on it too. Let's pop it out of the box and see. It says that it's Mirage Brands USA. And, oh my gosh, look at that. It's like got like a little bit of a wave going on to it. And it's got ridges. And at the top, it's got like this iridescent purple lid. And it does say Paris Lights on it. Take the cap off. Let's give it, let's give it a smell. It smells like, it's sweet. It smells sweet. And it kind of makes me think of like flowers and bubble gum mixed together. It's definitely a girly scent. It's so cute. Um, I don't really have any like full size perfumes. I only ever get like sample size perfumes or I get like those spray mists that you can get at Bath and Body Works. So that's kind of fun, right guys? So we could stick that over back on the vanity table too and give that some spritzes now and again. The whole bottle even is like just covered in glitter though. It's so cute, oh my gosh. All right, so let's stick this back. This whole thing just smells like candy. It smells like so sweet. It's good. It's definitely a girly scent though. It's not like a musky smell at all. Okay, next up it says bracelet. And where is my bracelet? So I'm thinking bracelet's probably gonna be in this little cute iridescent pouch, which you could probably use for other things again if you didn't wanna use it to store your bracelet inside and actually what was really cool about this is the next item after the bracelet on this list is supposed to be a set of earrings and I had told her my ears are not pierced and she actually substituted the earrings out for me and I have two bracelets so the first bracelet here it looks like a little lock and key like a little cuff so that's pretty cute it kind of reminds me of do you know, I apologize, there's like a thunderstorm going on outside and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be able to hear that. So sorry. Um, but you just kind of do the little clasp and then you're on with your lock and key. 
which is cute for Valentine's Day, like, you know, key to my heart, stuff like that. But it was just so cool of her. I was like, I don't have my ears pierced, just so you know. And um, she had asked about jewelry medals, like what kind of jewelry medals they like to wear. I'm like, well, I don't really care what the medal is. I'll wear any of them. Like I like silver and I like gold. I like rose gold, no problem there. But my ears aren't pierced. And she got me a different bracelet instead so that I wouldn't have earrings that I couldn't wear. That was just really nice of her and very considerate. So that's pretty cool. So this is the bracelet that I think I was supposed to get in this box and it says that jewelry is a girl or guy's best friend, right? There is going to be either a monogrammed stone cuff bracelet or key and lock hinged hook bracelet, which is the one that I've got. And they came in silver or gold and they retail for $12. So that's this one. But then my earring substitute. So here's my earring substitute bracelet and it's got this really pretty like blue raw stone in the middle. It looks kind of like... um little crystal pieces almost even and that's silver too and it's just got a little lobster claw clasp and it's adjustable as well so that was so nice of her guys I just can't believe like the amount of thought and detail that she's putting into this that's just really amazing and I appreciate it so much it's just really nice that she's really taking the time to get to know all of her subscribers and find them something that they like like that's really personal for me even because a lot of times like I have allergies or my ears aren't pierced and that's not so common now times like a lot of people have their ears pierced but mine are not so I get earrings and a subscription I'm like oh yay earrings I have a stocking stuffer for somebody now and that's about it and then I have so many allergies I'll receive things and I can't use them when I get them so it's just nice that she's really taking the time to get to know her subscribers and find them something that she thinks they're going to enjoy so thank you so much I really appreciate that the earrings that could have been in here though I think they were shaped like hearts and they came in all the different colors silver rose gold uh, regular yellow gold and those retail for eight dollars so the next thing in here oh get out you gotta be kidding me is supposed to be a ceramic wax melt warmer or oil burner. What the heck? A whole wax melt or oil burner? That's so cool. I've been wanting to get one of those for so, so long. Like I used to work at a Yankee Candle and I would never buy them because they were like so expensive. I'm like, listen, I don't get really a discount for working here. So I don't really want to be buying any $45 oil warmer. You know what I'm saying? And I really like candles, but I like the wax melters too, but I just never wanted to put out to buy the burner. So I guess I've got one in here, which is so cool. So here is the wax melt burner. She also included a couple little tea lights so that you can use it right away. And you put the tea lights in the little house and you light them and then you put the wax melts, which I've got a soft lilac petal scent, which is so funny because I love the smell of lilacs. And a long time ago, I went on this trip to a lilac festival and I got to be like the lilac princess and there were lilacs everywhere and it smelled so good. So I really like that scent. Thank you. Um, and then you can see the light through the little doors, but you just take one of these little cubes, you break it off and you put it on the top and you light the little candle inside and it will melt it and it will give a smell like you had a candle burning, but you don't, well you do, you have the little tea light, but you get the smell from the wax melts and then after they're dry, you can melt them again. So you can use them over and over and it kind of is less waste than when you buy a jar candle and then you have to throw the jars out at the end or you can't quite burn down to the bottom so this you're really getting to use all of the scent out of these wax cubes until they're done and then after you're done with them you can just scoop them out and try a new scent so that's so cool and I really loved getting this this is something that I really have been wanting to buy and I just never do so that's so cool to get awesome her little description on her paper here says that you can enjoy this mini ceramic warmer anywhere in your home. It can be used with wax melts, tarts, or home fragrance or aromatherapy oils. Oh, what a good idea. That's a good idea too, because you can put the oil on the top and do the burner in there. Nice. You can use tea lights that are included to warm the wax or oil and then disperse the fragrance into a room. And there were a bunch of different colors, black, gray, white, mint, green. Those only retailed for $5. How did she get that for $5? I've never seen one for that price. That's pretty cool though. And the wax melts were an additional $3. And she had a variety of fragrances for those as well. This next item in here is pretty cute. It's this little diamond that is like coated in glitter. I love it. I love the glitter. I like the blue. I like the diamond. That's just all kinds of things that I like. And it says glittery diamond shaped uh, lip gloss container. A girl or guy can never have enough lip gloss. 
Keep your lips in tip-top shape with these stylish balm containers. An easy screw top allows you to reach the luscious lip gloss inside. Great for keeping in your purse, backpack, or at home on your bathroom or vanity table. So there was white or black, pink or blue, and the flavors are either vanilla, bubblegum, watermelon, or strawberry. So let's see. Mmm, I got bubblegum. I can smell it. Let's give it a little, little taste. Yeah, I think this is bubblegum. Pretty sure. It's either a bubblegum or watermelon, but I like am pretty confident that this is bubblegum. But isn't that just so cute? Oh my gosh. It looks cute sitting out, and I'm pretty sure this would be easy to find in your purse because the shape of it, you won't be like feeling around in your bag when you're driving and you want lip gloss, and you're like, what is that that I've got there? It's definitely a distinguished shape. So that's super cute too. Awesome. So the next thing in here is Taste of the Tropics Body Scrub. Use this body scrub while taking a shower or bubble bath. This scrub provides intense exfoliation and moisturization, leaving you feeling soft and smooth while providing powerful hydration. There was either Unicorn, which was mood boosting, Pink Himalayan for healthy skin, or Brown Sugar for relax and unwind. And this is cruelty free and it's a whole eight ounce container which is pretty cool. It says massage and scrub on damp skin and circular motions. Be gentle because aggressive rubbing can irritate skin. Awesome. I've got pink Himalayan here. Well, it's sealed, but you can still smell it through it. It smells really good. I really like the scent of it. I'm not really sure what the scent is off the top of my head. Like, it smells kind of florally, uh, but I like floral scents, so that's really nice. And I'm definitely gonna be using the heck out of this stuff. How cool, I really like this. This is like another really cool product that you can get in this box. Like she's got a whole variety of things. We've got jewelry, we've got lip gloss, we've got stuff for your house, we've got scents, we've got accessories, like all kinds of really cool stuff in here. She really kind of thinks of everything. And after that, we've got bath bombs you know i love bath bombs i'm always excited to get them these are cupcake bath fizzes so they smell really really good like they do they kind of smell like cake so it's another like sweet kind of really girly smell and they're even shaped like little cupcakes how cute it says cupcake bath bomb fizzies relax and unwind after a long day in the hot bubble bath or use as a shower steamer oh that's a good idea yeah, I guess you could do that. You could probably like break part of it off and throw it in the bottom of the shower and use it as a shower steamer instead of a bath bomb. I probably won't do that because I love bubble baths and I especially love a bubble bath with a bath bomb. And I'm glad that there's two. So that's like double bubble. You know what I'm saying? Hubba bubble, bubble max. Isn't that bubble gum? I'm still thinking of this over here. Anyway, <laughs> um, there was purple, blue, or pink and they retail for $6. The retail value of all of these items so far is $90, and that's really, really good having spent $45, you know what I'm saying? But there's still more stuff in here, and we're not done yet. So what's really, really cool is she always likes to include little freebies and things. So it says that there was a Disney pen, a journal notebook, Valentine's candy, a card, which we already looked at, and anything else that you receive in your February box are absolutely freebies. They're thank yous for being her subscriber. How generous, that's so cool. And then it says, oh yeah, March is the off month of the Bubbles and Bling Box, but because she's part Irish, she wanted to include something for St. Patrick's Day. So we've got this little shamrock pot that you can see, like you know how the leprechauns get the little pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And it's got a shamrock, there's some candies in here, little Andy's mints. There's also these gold coins, right? What do they say on them? A four leaf clover for good luck. Nice. And there's little Rolos. That's really cool. So just something to remember the Irish during the month of March. Um, may the luck of the Irish be with you in this cauldron, coins, and candy. Awesome. I'm Irish too. I'm actually mostly Irish if you couldn't tell looking at me. <laughs> so that's really just sweet since the, that she included something for the holiday in the off month. Like she just thinks of everything. What a really cool person. 
So the Disney pen, the one that was in this box, because I had like sneaked a peek because I had got it when I was at work and I wanted to know so, so bad what was in it, but I couldn't open it obviously because I was at work. So there was a Minnie Mouse pen in here because she always includes something for from Disney in the boxes. Um, but my Minnie Mouse pen kind of disappeared when the box got attacked. Like mostly everything else made it pretty okay. This little bag used to have candy in it, but the candy is probably why the box got attacked. Um, so it didn't make it, but there was candy in there. There was like Tootsie Pops and Hershey Kisses, like, you know, Valentine candy, very cute. But this candy survived. So I've got like a Kissy Ring Pop. Have you guys had those in like a million years? I have not. So how cute. <laughs> Um, I wouldn't have thought of it in like a million years, but here it is. So that's kind of just like flashback, you know, like you'd get them on Valentine's Day when you all exchange the little cards that were like the little card that she included. I don't know. That was just kind of fun. But she gives you like all these little trinkets and candy and stuff as little extras, but there's still more stuff in here that we didn't look at. So let's look at it super quick. We've got here the journal that she included is not some little mini flip notepad. This is like a leather bound. It says becoming the best version of me with a cute little heart and iridescent gold. It's so, so cute. And this is like a whole big journal. And on the inside it has, on the inside it's got little hearts printed everywhere on it. And it's a lined notebook and I'm a student. So that will probably be really handy for me. And it even has one of those little ribbons to be a bookmark so you can like keep track of where you're at. So this is so, so cool. And it was really nice that she had also included the pen. It's just that mine accidentally disappeared. So that's not her fault at all. But like, you know, the pen to go with the notebook, like it's just really well thought out. And that was like a freebie that she just included in the box. That's not part of the box's $90 value. That was really cool of her. The boxes usually have between 90 and hundred dollars in value. So this is a really neat box guys. And let's see, there's still something else in here actually. And it's pretty heavy. It's wrapped in this really pretty cellophane that looks like unicorns. I do love unicorns, you know. So this is the other thing that's a freebie. This is like a candle holder and she put another little tea light in there, right? And it's got like really got some weight to it. It's pretty heavy. So it's like purple, but the bottom of it is like the clear glass. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. Or almost, I kind of want to put makeup brushes in it, like a little bit tempted. But it would also be really nice to put the candle in it like she kind of intended. So I don't know, maybe it'll be a candle holder for a while, but it might transition over and become a makeup brush holder. We'll see how we do. It, it might just be a makeup brush holder. We'll see, we'll see. But still, this was really cute and like this is really heavy glass. So this is included for free. This isn't even one of the paid items in the box. Like what the heck? What a really great value. The Sherry who does this, she curates the box all herself. She shops it all herself and she gets to know her people all herself. Like that's just really so cool. I feel like the $45 value is way exceeded here. And it's just really great that she puts all this time and effort into it. I'm really happy with this box and I'm really excited to get it again. I, like I said, I've seen people open it online before and I'm like, where are they even getting that from? And then she walks into my work one day and I'm like, Oh my God, I know what those are. <laughs> so it was just pretty exciting. Um, I'm really happy that I got to do this box. She really worked with me and she was really prompt and responsive. So if you have any questions for her, you can go on to her Crate Joy and you can message her on there and she'll get back to you like right away. And she can accommodate like basically anything from what I can understand. She really goes above and beyond for all of her subscribers. So tell me guys, like, what do you think? I really think this was a, such a cute box. It was really well themed for February. And it was nice that she included something for her off month of March as well. And I just really appreciated all of like the time and thought that went into this. This is like obviously her thing that she really cares about and loves doing. And it really shows the box. So that's just really a cool box, guys. I really am excited I opened it. Comment down below if you have any questions. I'll put the link to the Crate Joy. So if you guys want to sign up and get one yourself, you can get one over that way. Um, and thanks so much for watching. If you like YouTube videos and unboxings, then it would really just make my day. If you could like and subscribe, if you could head over to my channel, there's going to be more videos there for you to watch and enjoy. And until I've got another box ready for you guys to see, I'll see you all later. Bye.